A swarm of circling vultures usually means one thing in East Africa. An animal has been killed. One of the most efficient and beautiful hunters in East Africa is the cheetah. This movie is about an adult female cheetah and her cubs. In raising her cubs, the mother cheetah must feed them, teach them to hunt, and protect them. When vultures arrive at her kill, this mother has to be especially alert to protect her two four-month-old cubs. She knows the vultures may attract dangerous animals. About one in eight of her kills are taken away by lion or hyena, before she and her cubs have finished eating it. The cheetah eats only one meal from her kill. She leaves the remains and never returns to that kill. Nature has a way of keeping everything in balance. What is left uneaten by one species is eaten by another. Vultures are useful because they serve as a wilderness sanitary core. In areas where prey is moderately abundant, the cheetah spends much of the day lying in the shade of a tree, bush or patch of grass, waiting for prey to wander into the vicinity. Cheetah cubs can climb trees. The adults cannot. This is because the claws of the cheetah do not retract. As a cheetah grows older, the points on the claws get worn down with use. By the time a cheetah reaches adulthood, the points on his claws are so short he can no longer climb. The cheetah is unique in the cat family because its claws do not retract. His claws greatly influence his behavior. Because the adult cannot climb trees for protection, he lives in open areas where he can see for long distances. At one time, cheetah were found in Africa, Mesopotamia, Persia, and India. They have disappeared from most of these areas. They are found today primarily in the game reserves of Africa, where they are protected by law. In training the cubs, the mother exposes them to different animals, Today, they will have a lesson with warthogs. The warthog is the most common of the East African wild pigs. Although it has tusks with which to fight, its usual response to alarm is to turn and leave. During the heat of midday, the warthog may seek the shade of a bush or tree. Shade is at a premium out here on the plains. This same shady place looks very inviting to the cheetah mother and her two cubs. Yet a full-grown warthog weighs 180 pounds, almost twice as much as an adult cheetah. A group of warthogs represents more than a cheetah can handle. But the mother's youngsters haven't learned that the warthogs were in the shade first and are capable of protecting their property. There's only one way she can teach them, and that's by experience. At first, the warthogs are surprised and leave the shade. But then they return and drive the cheetah away. The warthogs return victorious to their special territory in the shade, leaving the cheetah to swelter in the midday sun. The adult cheetah female appears to mate with one male for life. When cubs are born to her, it takes the father a while to get used to the new situation. The cheetah husband comes looking for her almost every day, even after the cubs have reached four months of age. The mother takes no action to attract his attention when he calls to her. Many times he does not find her. She is protective of her cubs. 
The male is allowed no nearer than about 10 feet. After one or two minutes, he has satisfied himself as to her welfare and leaves. Cheetah usually hunts in the early morning or late afternoon. The cheetah mother starts the hunt with her body and head held low. When the gazelle happens to be looking away from the cheetah, the cheetah takes this opportunity to move closer. Her stalk may continue for a half hour. If a gazelle looks up toward the cheetah, the cheetah stops, motionless. A position she may retain for ten or more minutes. Her cubs wait obediently. When the gazelle lowers its head and starts eating again, mother moves closer. Finally, she suddenly rushes at her intended victim. The cubs run several hundred yards toward their mother, who has killed a Thompson gazelle. Mother moves the body to the shade. Cheetahs are very efficient hunters. They capture most of the animals they pursue. An adult cheetah kills an average of one animal a day. Cubs have to go through a long training period before they can master the peculiar hunting methods of a cheetah. If captured at an early age, a cheetah will grow to maturity and will not know how to hunt. They do not hunt by instinct. The mother must teach them to survive. As many as 30 minutes may elapse between the time the kill is made and the time the adult female begins to eat. During this time, she often just lies by the carcass, panting from the exertion of the hunt. One of the cubs tugs at the gazelle's throat. He learns to do this by watching mother kill by strangulation. When the mother finds a very young fawn hiding in the grass, she often lets her cubs chase it and bat it down. If they do not get the idea of grabbing it by the throat, she comes up, knocks it off balance, and grabs it by the throat herself. Then she lets it go. Her actions give the cubs the idea of how the kill is made. Mother is continuously alert to protect her cubs from other animals who may be attracted to her kill. An hour after the kill is made, vultures arrive to wait their turn. The vultures have attracted a hyena to the vicinity of the kill. The powerful hyena could easily harm cheetah cubs. The cheetah mother takes her cubs and leaves the scene of the kill. She would rather leave the unfinished carcass than risk losing one of her cubs to the hyena. By her actions, she helps teach her cubs to fear the hyena. By the time a cheetah cub is two years old, he is fully grown and leaves his mother. He sets out alone in the vast plains of East Africa to start his fight for survival and to find a mate to help assure the survival of the species.